Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sam Dasanayaka. I'm an Ayurvedic doctor practicing in Melbourne. And today I'm going to present you with a very valuable information with regards to movement. Now, movement is very important, very important for anyone in any age. What is movement? Movement is that we need to move because rule number one is that sedentary lifestyle will make you unhealthy and you will have many diseases coming your way if you are going to have a sedentary lifestyle. But the irony, ironically, it is the sedentary lifestyle that is promoted in the Western culture, you know, the remote, all the conveniences in the modern day life, you know, car, everything that will prevent us from doing enough movement. So if you understand this, then you should make steps to have some movement. Try to walk as much as possible. Try, try to have your body move. And it is, uh, uh, most times people think that you need to jog or run, uh, which is not the case at all times. What we need to understand is that we need to raise our heartbeat from 160 to 180. And then we can let it settle down. So you can jog for five minutes and then you can walk for 10 minutes. You can again jog for five minutes. You can again walk for 10 minutes. During the day when you are at work, during your break, please make yourself to take you outside of work. If you have a park, just go around the block, go around the park. And when you are going, just make sure you do deep inhalations and deep exhalations. So this will refresh your mind, keep your lungs strong and clear. And most importantly, it will help the heart because you are giving some exercise for the heart muscles and that will strengthen the heart muscles. In any human, there's 50% of your nerves, 50% of your veins, and 50% of the circulation is below the waist. So walking will give a good stimulation, will give you a good vibration to all these muscles below the waist. And for that locomotion, you need to use your brain because there's a lot of muscles that work involuntarily, but with the use of the mind. We will not be able to walk if the mind is unstable. So this will stimulate the brain and keep you away from deadly diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson. So walk every day. At least any walking is good walking. Even if you walk for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, even if you are brave enough to park your car a block away and then walk to the train station. So coming back, you have to walk the same distance back to the car. And, in, and you will be the judge for this when you get, get inside the car after your evening brisk walk, you will find a much more coordinated, calmed effort when you are driving. You will not be aggravated as fast as that you would do otherwise. So walking and the movement is of utmost importance and we should make steps to get our body move and make use of all these muscles and refresh it. And the other thing is that there is, if you have a sedentary, if you're not doing so much walking, these muscles can get tight and there could be some pectin or acid buildup during the muscles and they can get tight and, and have soreness. But if you're doing mild walking, you will find that they are much more relaxed and much more easy and you will find a very restful sleep at night. So I hope you will find this information and make use of it. And if you need any additional information beyond what we have discussed, uh, what, what I have presented today, you're more than welcome to contact Sri Lanka Morning Show or Sahandro Ayurvedic Center and we are happy to give you more information. Until we meet again, hi everyone.